Good afternoon everyone, Luke Taylor here for another album review and today's album is 1987 Halloween Keeper of the Seven Keys Part 1. So if you don't have enough time to listen to me talk on and on and on, I'm just going to tell you right now, this is one of the greatest, if not the greatest, power metal album of all time in my opinion. Um, just, it can't get any better than this. It's so amazing, especially for the time and what they were doing. And it's such an epic achievement. So I'm just going to go on and on about it now. I am a Halloween fan. As you might know, I have some covers on this channel. I have some reactions. And I have an album review already. So this is my second Halloween album review. I do want to re review more albums in the future and do more covers in the future. But let's just talk about Keeper of the Seven Keys, part one right now. I love it. And uh, this is really marked by the track Halloween, which is, you know, if you're, if you're typing Halloween, Halloween, you're going to get an autocorrect to Halloween. Um, but that song is so so epic and I think it's really really cool because I have done a reaction for um, the uh, United Alive, Pumpkins United, that kind of thing uh, live version of that and it's so amazing how well that song holds up and how much energy and fun they have. This band has so much energy, so much talent but they're so fun and again they're so serious and so fun at the same time. They're one of the few bands that can really pull it off and achieve that. They're not taking themselves too seriously, but then it's not just a big joke. They are like as fun as they are serious, and they are badass musicians too. So to me, the star of this is the whole band. It's a whole band performance. Of course you have Michael Kiske singing, and he had hair back then. If you see, he's bald now, but oh, see that? He's got lots of hair back then. Um, but his vocals on here are so good. He's one of the best uh, power metal vocalists. Uh, just his style and his range. You hear kind of the style on something like Future World, uh, I'm Alive, but again, with Halloween. He has a sense of performing the song, which I love, and I love in power metal. It has to have a sense of drama to it, and it's woven into the writing, but it's also in the performance. Like, he really gives it his his all in the performance. His highs are just so, like, they're so good, and they're, they're always there, but that it's that sense of drama that I love, and he really delivers that throughout this whole disc. And this disc has a really great sense of progression and story. Of course, you got like that beautiful fantasy art on the cover with the wizard holding the keys. This is a really great, one of those, one of the best album covers, I think. It's just, it just gets you right away. You go, I know what that should sound like. And then it just blows your mind. But Kai Hansen and Michael Vykath doing the dual guitars. And a lot of songs, uh, not just Halloween, but a lot of songs, they're doing these dueling solos. It's so fun. And this is really a great uh, analog era record. You just hear the fat recording, all the reverb, you know, that kind of like power metal tone is just like rich and fat and lovely. Uh, Marcus Groskopf's bass is really great. The drums are great too. But uh, it's just like that singer guitar player thing. Uh, this band gets it and um, they're just delivering one of the best albums all the way through. Again, that's, I'm just going to talk again. That sense of story, the sense of drama. Um, all the songwriting. It's such an enjoyable a record to listen to. It's something you should definitely get on vinyl. Um, just one of those like hallmarks of like somebody goes, what is power metal? Show them this band, show them this album, show them the song Halloween. So that's all I got to say for this. I just love it. I love every song, every second of this disc. Again, it ends with something that, that adds to the drama. Beautiful entrance and exit. All the songs are great, especially Halloween. So if you couldn't tell from all that, my rating gold. So are you a Halloween fan? What is your favorite album of the band? They have a lot. They have different singers, different guitar players, different eras. It's so cool to see them all united and to play. I would really like to get uh, the United Alive live CD. Uh, the videos I've seen are just badass. They're just awesome. Having so much fun. Really cool to be a part of that crowd if, if you were there in that show. Uh, that had to be just one of the best concerts ever. Um, yeah. Keeper of the Seven Keys, part one. I would really like to hear part two. I'm very interested. I don't know if it can be better than part one. Part one, again, it's like one of the best power metal albums ever, in my opinion. If you have a power metal album you think is better, please tell me below. Please tell me your favorite Halloween song, your favorite Halloween album. love to talk about them. You can check out my covers. I have links to those. And you can check out my reactions, too. I have links to those below. Like I said, please check out all my other album reviews and my live reactions product demos, gear demos, all that kind of stuff. I got it all on this channel, even video games. Hope you're having a wonderful day. See you later.